Okay, in this video we are going to go through uh, the network interface configuration for a standard Linux computer or any, any kind of host that you'll find on your network. Uh, hopefully you recall that uh, the standard way to get this information is by the command line command ifconfig and all we need to do is type it in config, hit enter and it will display the current uh, interface setup of the computer that we are logged onto. We can see that this computer here has two interfaces. The one at the bottom, the one called local loopback, that's just an internal reference of this machine to itself that some software uses to exchange information. We won't worry about that at all. Uh, it's standard on, on all um, Debian based boxes. Uh, we're going to worry about the top one, which is the connection of this computer to the broader network. And we can identify that because uh, it has an IPv4 address, that 10.0.2.15 number. It has a hardware address, a broadcast address, a MAC address, and it even has an IPv6 address because we're connected to an IPv6 network. That is called the ETH0, um, the F0. Uh, interface that's what we'll be using to refer to it as but you may very well ask where does this where does this computer get the information for these interfaces from it gets it from a configuration file and on any standard um, Ubuntu Debian uh, distribution it is located in uh, the ETC network interfaces file so we can see the contents of that file by using a tool called cat which just prints out the content of a file cat ETC network interfaces and that's the content of that file um, as a reminder anything any line in there that starts with a hash is a comment and so there's actually only four lines in this file that do anything there's two the auto, auto low I face low ones that correspond to the local loopback interface and then the primary network interface that are the, the final two lines of that file. Uh, the final line of that file, the one that says iFace F0 iNet DHCP, all that means is uh, when this computer boots, it goes to the network and it asks the network to assign it an IP address and it accepts whatever IP address that network gives it. That's what the DHCP protocol is for um, and that's what that line is. And that's where this IP address 10.0.2.15 that you can see at the top of the screen there, that's where this has come from from the network has said you uh, have this IP address that one belongs to you for the next period of time but in many cases we might not want the network to give us an IP address we want may want to establish our own and so if we want to make any changes to any interface we need to edit this file so to edit it I'm going to use a command line uh, editing tool I'm going to use nano rather than vi because it, it's a little clearer to see what I'm typing and what's going on uh, and because this is a pretty important interfaces file I'm going to have to use super user permissions to do that so all I'm going to type is sudo nano and then the location of that file network interfaces and so this is the contents of this file and now I can use my cursor to edit it I'm not going to edit anything to do with that local loopback like I said we're going to ignore it and so if I wanted to change this from a uh, uh, from a network assigned IP address to something specific I need to get rid of this line I, I can delete the whole thing but in generally uh, in general I don't like to delete something in case I break it instead what I will do is I will comment it out and I'm going to replace it with my own configuration so if I want to change that IP address hopefully you remember it was 10.0.2.15 let's say for some reason I want to change it to 10.0.2.14 it's very very simple all I need is a new line I face ETH 0 then the name of the interface INET and rather than DHCP which is a dynamic protocol I'm going to use static um, static if I spell it correctly uh, once I've done that I just need to give it two other inputs one is what is the IP address that I want it to have and one is the net mask so to set the IP address I just type in address and I'm going to use 10.0.2.14 now that could be any number that we want in the world um, obviously it's good if it matches to the to the host network if I, if I made it 192.168.1.7 for example there's a good chance my computer couldn't communicate with its network because it's a totally different that that address corresponds to a completely different network so I'm just going to increment or decrement this this IP address um, slightly and then the net mask which in this case is 255.255.255.0 um, that's it so I hold control and push X to exit and save the file as I do and then type Y for yes uh, and if I go ifconfig now 
what you'll notice is nothing has actually changed. Um, I've got the same IP address as before, it's 10.0.2.15, and the reason is this is a configuration file. The, uh, the setup from this file is only loaded when the computer boots, uh, and so I need, to, I need to reboot the computer to get this to um, this, get this change in settings to be applied. However, rebooting the computer is, uh, is a bit of a hassle, so instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to take down one of the interfaces and then bring it back up. And when I bring it back up, it will reload all that information. So to take an interface down, sudo if down, and then the name of the interface, sudo, Inter interface name in this case is f0, it will go down, and uh, if I type in if config now, you'll see there's only one interface because I've taken one of them down. Let's bring it back up though because it is pretty important. It's my connection to the world. Sudo if up, if config one more time, and there we go. I've got my interface back and it's got a different IP address. Uh, and that is how you edit the uh, network interfaces file. Um, we can add a bunch of other information to that and in, um, in particular we can set up specific routes. But I'll leave that till the next video.